Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, we'll be looking at the differences between the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. Both of these devices are sort of compact devices by their respective manufacturers and they actually have a lot of differences. If you are obviously an iOS user, then the iPhone is for you. And if you like Android and a compact size phone, then the Alpha might be better for you. But uh, if you are confused, we'll be doing a comparison between both these devices. And in some aspects, the iPhone 6 wins, but in some, the Alpha wins. So let's look at the differences between the Alpha and the iPhone 6. So here we have the iPhone 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. And first, let's talk about the build. Again, both of them sport a 4.7 inch screen. And both of them uh, have a screen resolution that is close to 720p HD. But the iPhone 6 has an IPS grade screen. And the quality of the screen is very good with very good ang uh, viewing angles as you can see. And uh, on the other hand, uh, the Alpha as it's a typical Samsung device has a super AMOLED screen. Again, the viewing angles are also pretty nice on this device. Now if we uh, talk about the build quality, uh, this Alpha has actually a metallic build. And uh, if you look at it just like this, it actually resembles the iPhone 5 or the 5S, the chamfered edges. So again, uh, it's a first for what you say, Samsung, and it actually does give you a premium feel when you hold the device. And it actually also looks pretty good. The iPhone 6 has a newer design, uh, which has this curved glass which is actually pretty comfortable because your just finger just slides away if you're just browsing like this it's very nice uh, but on the back I do not like this bands these just come out uh, this is a space gray model that I have but if in the white and particularly in the gold model these bands actually do not look that great also the camera actually comes out a little bit on the iPhone 6 so in terms of design I would say it's a personal choice I feel uh, the Alpha is better designed but again both of them are very comfortable to hold in the hand so again I would say it's sort of a neutral in my opinion next if we move to Ignormix here it's very interesting always the iPhone used to be very Ignormix but now the screen size has been increased now it supports a 4.7 inch screen and generally iPhones were very easy to use with a single hand but uh, with this new iPhone, that's not the case. For example, uh, let's open up any app that is not uh, specifically Apple app. For example, let's open Twitter. This is the official Twitter app. And if you see, these are some of the notifications that I have. Uh, this is my timeline if I just look at it and if I just hit this now if I have to go back I have to stretch my finger here and it's a little bit difficult on this big screen Yes, Apple has added this feature if you just double tap the home It uh, reduces the screen to size and you can access it and they call it reachability But still I feel for third-party apps. It's a bit of a clunky solution because the universal gesture like this that has to go back for example with uh, safari etc it works it does not work with every app so again i find it uh, a little bit uh, what do you say uncomfortable to use with a single hand with some of the apps that i have to stretch all the way here to go to the menus or go back uh, but again as this alpha uh, runs on android and we have a dedicated back button that's not an issue even in the browser etc everywhere we do have that for example from here if we go to a new website let's say readof.com or whatever we always have this back button you can just hit this and it just takes you back so it's very easy in fact now i would say the alpha is a lot more easier to use with a single hand compared to the iphone 6. also the iphone 6 is a bit slippery in the hands now if we move to the storage Again, uh, here it becomes really interesting. Uh, the Samsung Galaxy Alpha that uh, Samsung is selling comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. The back can be opened, but we do not have any micro SD card slot. So 32 gigs is what you get. But with the iPhone 6, you do get a lot of options actually. Uh, the basic variant is the 16 gig variant, but you can also get the 64 or the 128 gig variant. But again, those are pretty pricey. I'll talk about the price a bit later, specifically in India. Next, if we move to fingerprint scanner, both these devices have security features and the Apple iPhones have this touch ID. Uh, for example, if I just skip my finger over here, it just unlocks. And I feel this is actually a lot better than the implementation that uh, Samsung has done. For example, as you can see, it's very quick. We don't have to do swiping or anything like that. But on, an, on this Alpha, this is the fingerprint scanner, which is within the home uh, button and you got to swipe your finger. 
yes it has been improved and it works and now also you can swipe in this motion also so you can use it with the single hand but as you saw it does not recognize always i say, i would say the accuracy on this one is about 85 percent but on this one it works a lot better so in terms of fingerprint scanner i would say the iphone's implementation is a lot better in my opinion now if we move to the speakers both these devices actually have their speakers at the bottom and these are mono speakers on the alpha it's over here and on the iphone it's over here but surprisingly uh the iphone 6 speaker is a lot louder and also it has a lot more bass i would say though uh, the alpha speaker is good enough but here again i would give the vote to the iphone 6 speaker it's surprisingly loud and clear now if we move to the camera here things get really interesting and um, this iphone has a 8 megapixel camera with the dual tone led flash whereas the alpha has a 12 megapixel with a single led flash and uh, the results are actually very interesting i have taken a lot of sample shots as you can see both these devices actually do pretty good in outdoor lighting conditions here are the sample shots you can just skip this and move on but again i have taken the shots with both the alpha and the iphone 6 so that you can judge which does a better job i do feel that outdoors both these devices take very good pictures but when it comes to indoor lighting and artificial lighting definitely the iphone 6 did better when we talk about the video here on paper again the alpha is better because it can record video up to 4k which is not possible on the iphone 6 the iphone 6 can only record up to 1080p but again let's look at the samples and let's judge sample is being recorded by the galaxy alpha and i'm just walking to give you an idea how is the stabilization in video Recording this quick video snippet with the iPhone 6 and I'm just going to walk now to give you an idea how is the stabilization in the video. I'm just walking normally. But as we have seen from the sample shots, uh, the video stabilization is a lot better on the iPhone 6 and the video is a lot smoother. So in terms of video also, I would give the vote to the iPhone 6 rather than to the Alpha because the Alpha does not have any hardware image stabilization and the software image stabilization in the video is a little bit shaky here definitely the iPhone 6 wins. Moving to the battery uh, the iPhone always had a sealed battery that's the same with this one the iPhone has a 1810 milliamp hour battery and I would say uh, the battery life is not uh, very impressive I would say it's slightly better than the iPhone 5s I would say it's approximately around 15% better than the iPhone 5S and for medium uh, usage it can easily last for a full working day but if you are sort of a heavy user then yes you would have to charge it in the evening. Even the Alpha's battery life is sort of okay I would say uh, with medium usage it can last but again with heavy usage uh, you got to top it up. And the back cover can be opened and you can uh, replace the battery the, and the battery is a 1860 milliamp hour battery so in terms of battery i would say both of them perform actually pretty close to each other and now lastly if we talk about the pricing here is a uh, major difference between both these devices i'll talk about the pricing specifically in india uh, this is the 16 uh, gig variant of the iphone 6 that i have and this is selling in India for around 53,000. Whereas uh, this uh, Galaxy Alpha in India, uh, Samsung is selling the 32 gig variant and it sells for around 39,000. Uh, we don't have the 32 gig variant of the iPhone 6, but we have the 64 gig variant, but that uh, bumps up the price to around 63,000. So as you can see in the pricing, definitely the Alpha wins. Again, as we have seen from the comparison, in some aspects, the iPhone 6 wins and in some, the Alpha wins. Again, it's up to you to decide which device is better for you. I do hope that this video was helpful and it helps you in making the right decision which phone is better for you, the iPhone 6 or the Alpha. I've also posted several other videos on the Galaxy Alpha as well as the iPhone 6, so make sure you check them out. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.